I know, right? This is called sorrel. So in this one, my trim will be peeps. It's all about the sorrel. Yeah. So all I have to ask, you want some sorrel oil? Right now I'm at Maritime Flyover, heading back to Eastbound, and I just bought some sorrel. Yeah. I know for the seeing this here. Red sorrel. I didn't get no black sorrel, but this one is all about sorrel and sorrel by products I should see. So let's jump into it. Cream bagel vibes. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Dream. Here on Trin Bagel Vibes, we show you everything here in Trinidad Tobago. Since we're close to Christmas, this episode is all about that plant, that flower called sorrel. Now, sorrel is big here. It's one of the main things that we have around Christmas time, around this time of the season. So I'm gonna kick this off with, of course, the Angostura Chill Sorrel and Bitters. Now, this tastes similar to a Shandy Sorrel if you ever had it before. Or you could see it tastes like, like a red soft drink, but with a hint of sorrel. That's, you know, that fragrant, that um, flowery kind of sorrel taste. I don't know how else to describe sorrel. You have to try it, but it, this is pretty good. I find it's light. No one they call it chill. Right, next up is some wings from Sticky Wings right here in Movie Town. Sorrel wings. Yes, you heard that right. Sorrel flavored wings. It costs, for 10 wings, it costs 60 Trinidadian dollars. So the only problem is you have to wait a while for the food. But yeah, so let's head back to the studio now and try this. Woo! So I'm with Julia. Yeah, I came here to try some wings with her. I brought some wings that we got from Sticky Wings that you saw earlier. And wait, what's this? Check out this local sorrel chocolate. I told you all we are going to do everything. After sorrel. we eat. Fine. <laughs> anyway. Time for food, let's try these wings. So this is their sorrel wings. How it tastes? Now the wings taste good. I'm not really getting any sorrel flavor. It's more tasting like a honey glazed wings. Mm-hmm, yep. What do you think? It does taste good, but you're really tasting sorrel. Mm. I'm wondering when is sorrel supposed to be like if it's in the sauce or it's in the sauce. Is but this um is this the sauce here? Yeah yeah in the sauce but I mean come on it should be better than that. I mean it tastes good but it tastes like a typical um kinda like fried dish chicken yeah. type thing. And then you smell any sorrel flavor. And this this is what, what they call sorrel flavor wings from sticky wings. I mean, if you stick your nose like real deep into it, you kind of get a little sorrel smell, Aww. you know? Well, so that's sorrel wings from Sticky Wings. All right, we're gonna wrap up here and then let's go head for some dessert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we just tried sorrel wings and I saw this. Don't tell Julia me anything. I kind of sprang it from her. So this is the chocolate sorrel. She got this in Moda Life. Right here in Trinidad Tobago, it is from a company called Coco Pot Chocolates right here in Port of Spain. Wow, I didn't even know that. And this is a limited edition too, eh? Oh my gosh, check out this. I know if you all seen this. Oh, already smelling the aroma of the dark chocolate hers. Oh wow. Just in case. This is actually a, a imprint of a cocoa. Yeah, although it's a sorrel episode, but this is 65% dark chocolate sorrel. I you know me. I like my dark chocolate. Wow. When you bite in, you get in this dark chocolate flavor, but in the aftermath, you get a strong sorrel flavor. Down here in the Caribbean, here in Trinidad Tobago, sorry, it's, a, it's like a staple here for Christmas. Dark chocolate sorrel, more alive. I'm not sure anywhere else have this dark chocolate type of sorrel. Or if you know anywhere else, let me know in the comments below. Well, this pretty good dark chocolate. I really like this boy. I will like this flavor profile, this sorrel profile. It may not be good for everybody. And 65% is not that sweet. You can see the borderline on the sour side. All right, now, oh, here's Julia Mean. She's coming. Let me hide this and let's go get some sour ice cream. You heard that right. Sour ice cream, guys. I'm with Julia. We came by B&M's here in St. James on Panker Street. Yeah, so that's the one north of the Woodbrook Cemetery. The cemetery. Yeah, the cemetery. So this is sour ice cream here. Smell that. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells like sorrel sweet drink. Yeah, it does. It does <laughs> smell like sorrel soft drink. 
I told you this is everything sorrel episode. <laughs> so you want some sorrel ice cream? Oh, it yeah, it tastes like um sorrel coconut. What? Like 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 you know it have a flavor called cherry coconut. Mm -hmm. It tastes like sorrel coconut. So you taste in the sorrel flavor, but then it will be in a little bit by the coconut flavor. Mm. Right. Tasting good though. Real good. But I just find the coconut flavor. Like the cherry coconut flavor over a point. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you're right. Hot, it tastes like cherry coconut. Well, it tastes like cherry coconut if you ever had cherry coconut before, but it's more sorrel coconut. Yeah, it kind of have that cherry taste like initially, and then it's only afterwards when it warms down a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get the sorrel. Okay, I get the sorrel at the end now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a nice oh, one where well. you can just keep going. Mm. And finally, we are at a and J's right here off the Monroe Road on the Carnia Savannah Road. This is on the western side of the highway. So let's go in and check and get some sorrel items. They have a few. I got sorrel ice cream. I got sorrel fruitcake ice cream. I got sorrel and passion ice cream. And I also got sorrel cheesecake right here at a and J's. This is their sorrel. So we know how the sorrel tastes from b &Ms, right in St. James. This one is a and here in Charlieville. Let's try this sorrel. So when you put it in your mouth, you get that burst of sorrel flavor. And then afterwards, it tastes similar to the Alaka cherry coconut, but with sorrel. So something similar to BMs. So yeah, but not, not bad. So that's sorrel. Next up, I have the sorrel and passion fruit. So yeah, it's a little different. Sorrel and passion fruit. This reminds me of like a strawberry and vanilla. I don't know if you're seeing it there, strawberry and vanilla kind of thing here. Yeah. Wow, again that burst of passion fruit. This one tasting real fruity, super fruity. I won't lie. Again, this slight sorrel, but the passion fruit overpowering the taste of the sorrel in this one. Tasting good. Angels, we have one more ice cream to try, and then we're moving on to sorrel cheesecake. Oh yes, and well, this what I got here is technically a one scoop. So yeah, so you see this, this little cup here, twenty dollars, Trinidadian dollars. That's about three US, approximately. So yeah, so this one here is the sorrel fruit cake. I mean, you already seen some fruit cake bit pieces in it. So I figured that this would just be like a similar to the sorrel ice cream, mixed up with some elements of like what a fruit cake would be. Let me see. Yep, sorrel fruit cake. You have the elements, the dried elements of the fruits, and you have well the regular sorrel ice cream. This is some good though. Let's move on to cheesecake and then let me get out of here before all this ice cream melts on me. It's all about sorrel and healthy serving. Cheers. And again, that punch of sorrel flavor in this cheesecake. The sorrel flavor in the cheesecake is a bit subtle. So you're not getting that, you know, that splash of sorrel flavor. But the cheesecake is tasting pretty good. Everything sorrel. Hope you really enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next one, my Trim Vigo Vibe peeps. I'll go on later. Hmm. We're well, gonna be doing this ice cream, boy. <laughs>